Today I'm going to show you how to tell time on a wristwatch. That could be kind of difficult because there are no numbers on a wristwatch. So I'm going to help guide you through it. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put the watch on as if I'm telling the time with the watch on, which most of you out there will probably be doing. So once I have the watch on, you can see that the, the watch is on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the dials. Now the small dial represents the hour, or rather the shorter dial represents the hour, and the longer dial represents the minute. Now because there are no numbers in here, you are going to have to associate the position of the notches, or the diamonds in this case in this watch, you're going to have to associate the position of the diamonds with the hour that's supposed to be there. So with that being said, at the very top, right here, that is 12, okay? So that will be associated with the hour. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so that represents the hours. Now, with that being said, they also represent the minutes. So, when you associate the shorter, the shorter arm on the watch, or the shorter dial on the watch, arm, dial, whatever you want to call it, you associate these notches or diamonds where they are with the hour. However, with the longer arm on the watch, you will associate the dials with minutes. Now with that being said, you associate this 12 at being zero, okay? And in between this, there are five locations in here that are invisible, but still you're gonna have to estimate. So the dial, when the dial is on here, it represents zero. So if this dial were on here, it would probably be and this were lined up with this right here, it would be 11 o'clock. So this longer dial, it goes zero, one, two, three, and these diamonds where they're located are five minute increments. So it's zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then 60. So it represents zero, 60 are essentially the same thing. You don't say it's 11, 60 o'clock. You would say it's 12 o'clock. So once it gets to 60, that represents zero. So you don't say 60, you just say zero or 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, two o'clock. So I'm gonna take this off and I'm going to show you a little bit of what it would look like. Okay. So I have this off, and I'm just going to rotate the dial right here for demonstration purposes, demonstration purposes, so you can see what the time would be. So if I have it right here, this is 11 o'clock. You see the shorthand dial is on that right there. That's 11, remember? And this 60 is zero, so 11 o'clock. If I go a little bit right here, that would be about 11.01 or the longer dials right there, 11.02, 11.03, 11.04, and that would be 11.05. Now if I bring the longer arm down all the way down like this, and the shorter dials right here, that would be representative of 11.30. Now, the shorter arm doesn't go from 11 to 12 right away, it goes slowly so there will be in between in that so like right now it's in between 11 and 12 and this dial is right here it still represents 11 so it's 11 30. if i move the dial do you see the shorter dial getting closer to 12. now it's 11 35 11 40 11 50 and as i approach going close to 12 you see the shorter dial getting closer to 12. 11 45 11 50 the shorter dial is getting really close to 12, 11.55, and 12 o'clock. So that is how you tell the time on this right here. But also note that with this, 
you're going to have to do AM and PM. So AM and PM is not represented on this watch. So you're going to have to know if it's daytime or nighttime outside and associate it with AM or PM. This will just do 12 hour increments of day. All right. So right now it would be, this would be representative of one o'clock. 115, 130, 145, and so on. And so like once you've learned how to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and adjust the dial to get back to the time of day that it currently is. It's currently 1055. So I'm just going to wind it back to this right here. 1055 is close to 11, but not quite. So it'll look like it's 11, but not yet. So it's 1055 or 1056. So this would be right here would be 10.55, all right? Right there would be 10.56. And after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and set that. And that's how you tell time on a wristwatch. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.